Hey guys! So today's video is gonna be about Swedish judge judging a black autistic boy as a criminal in the Swedish system. Yes, on the 9th of February 2018, my autistic brother, his caseworker called Ashley Kamara, called the police on my brother. So when the police did arrive in the, the arrive they they, they beat up Emmanuel, they sprayed a pepper in his eyes, they teased him with an electric teaser. Four months after that incident, my mom and I got a letter from the Swedish holding a police station. And the letter was saying that the police officers that came on the 9th of February, they, they were pressing charges on my brother. And the charges were based on the claim that Emmanuel resisted them. And so Emmanuel had to go for his interrogation on the 4th of May. 2018 so my brother went for the for the interrogation and after the interrogation my mom was talking to the she was trying to explain to the investigator that the person in question is autistic and so on and so forth and so this is what the investigator told my mom and I she, he was like Becky it doesn't really matter if a has autism because in Sweden it doesn't matter if you have a sickness or something if you commit a crime you get punished and she was like yeah but you have to know something Emawe got his diagnosed December 2013 by the Swedish system that he, he has aggressive autism. So if he resists the police, that's one of the things that a lot of autistic people do. That's not a crime because he did not do that on purpose. He, he was, his intention wasn't to resist the police. It has to do with his aggressive autism, right? And the investigator was like, Becky, it still doesn't matter. Emawe has to still get punished because the law in Sweden states that you don't resist a police. And... He, this is what the investigator told myself and my mom. He was like, you know what, Becky, the case is going to be forwarded to the Sodetons court where Emawa is going to come to the court for his hearing. So on the 15th of January 2019, my brother had his hearing in the Sodetons court. And in, in the court, he was being judged by a judge called Anders Lotion. Yeah, the judge did judge my brother as a criminal in the Swedish system because I was the, 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 at the day of the hearing, I was present in court. And when I was sitting there and I asked, I was like, what? I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Are you going to judge a black, a autistic person as a criminal? Because I didn't, I least expected that from the Swedish system or the Swedish courts or the Swedish judges in Sweden. So when Judge Anders Lotion pronounced that my brother was a criminal in the Swedish system because he resisted the police, I was like, first of all, first thing first. Who called the police on Emawe? He was, that was Emawe's caseworker, Ashley Kamara. Second of all, Emmanuel has a security number in Sweden that when you put up when you put it his security number It's gonna tell you that he's, he has aggressive autism So the police when they put up his security number How come they did not see that he has aggressive autism that he had to even go to the extent of suing him into their court system and then the court had the The infantry to pick up the case and then from there now a judge and the slotion is calling my brother a criminal in the Swedish system I'm like what is going on sweet? I was so dumbfounded that day in court. I was like, whoa, whoa, Sweden, I don't get the memo. I don't get it. Like, what is happening? Because I did not expect that from the Swedish court or a Swedish judge judging a black autistic boy as a criminal. Because let's be honest, if the Swedish government is going to judge my brother as a criminal, as they're claiming, that means Sweden is trying to tell me that all autistic people that are aggressive, they are criminals. And let's, let's be honest, one of the reasons why we punish people in life is because we believe they have a choice and we want them to learn from their mistakes and so on. You understand, right? So when you start punishing, when the Swedish courts and the Swedish judge, Lotion is going to be punishing my brother as a criminal in their system, I'm like, is Sweden trying to tell me that autistic people now have become criminals in the society? Because let's not forget, everyone is praising Sweden how they have the best welfare system. So if they have the best welfare system, that means Sweden, they've realized and they, they've understood that people like Emmanuel, autistic people, they do live in the society and they can get sometimes a little bit aggressive. So it's all about understanding them and helping them instead of punishing them and taking them to your court system and creating a drama and making it look like they are the worst criminals that have ever existed in the society or something. I don't get it, sweet. That's the thing. That's the one thing that I can't really 
wrap my head around it because every time when I try to understand why a judge in Sweden and a court in Sweden, the Solitons Court, will pick up a case to judge a black autistic boy as a criminal for resisting the police in Sweden, when that black autistic boy was diagnosed in Sweden, December 2013, that he has aggressive autism, and then I don't get it because one of the reasons, one of the things you have to know if, you, if you've ever met an autistic person or if you've lived with an autistic person or if you know, or if you know an autistic person or if you're studying about autism is this. They tend to be aggressive and when they're aggressive, they tend to be very resistant. Like when they're aggressive and you try to approach them or talk to them, they tend to be very resistant. So if they're being resistant towards you and you know that they're autistic and all you can do is punish them, I'm like, Sweden, I don't get the memo. I don't get it. Like, what are we driving to? What is our point? What is the whole thing? Because if you're going to punish him, if you're going to punish an autistic person, that means Sweden is trying to tell me that autistic people, they choose to be autistic. They want to be autistic. They, they have a choice in the same. But let's be honest, if you know something about autistic voices, they did not choose to be autistic. They were just born that way and they would just die that way. So when you start punishing them, Sweden, what's your point? When the Swedish Solitons Court, a judge in the Solitons Court and the Schlossion is going to be judging a black autistic by a criminal in the Swedish Solitons Court and I'm standing there and I'm dumbfounded. I'm like, whoa, whoa, Sweden. I didn't, I least expected that from the Swedish people because let's be honest, like I said, the whole world knows Sweden as the top best welfare system. So I wasn't expecting that from the Swedish system or the Swedish court or the Swedish judges judging an autistic boy or a black autistic boy as a criminal i wasn't expecting that that was the last thing i wanted to see in the swedish court so that was the last thing i wanted to walk into a swedish court and see a judge or a swedish sodaton's court judging a black autistic boy as a criminal because i'm like what like i'm like what how like how, how? like i don't know so this is my question to the swedish uh, court system and the judge that judge my brother in the sodaton's courts sodaton's courts uh lotion so then i want to ask the thing sweet when did autism become a crime? Because mm -hmm. I really don't know. When did we start labeling autism as a crime in Sweden? Because the last time I checked, everyone is out there praising Sweden. How oh, they have the top best welfare system. Oh, the Swedes. We know them. Oh, they're so good at handling issues like this. Like people like this, they get the best treatment when they leave, when they live in Sweden. So Sweden, when did we change to start calling, putting autism as a crime? Because when we take a case to court, we believe that thing is a crime, right? So if you're going to take an autistic person to court for resisting the police, when we're fully aware that an autistic person was being diagnosed in our system, December 2013, that he has aggressive autism, then when he resists the police, we're taking him to the Swedish courts and we're judging him as a criminal. That means Sweden, when did we start labeling autism as a crime? If anyone that knows autistic people any, or anyone that's ever lived with an autistic person or anyone that has an autistic person or anyone that's studying about autism will tell you this. When you punish an autistic person, they don't learn. Punishing them, they don't learn. But when you talk to them, when you try to make them understand, then they kind of get a little bit of the information that you're trying to pass out. So, Sweden, when you punish him, how are you trying to help him? Because when you punish them, they're not going to learn anything because they did not choose to be autistic. Guys, this is my question to you guys. Do you guys think it's okay for the Swedish court system and the Swedish judge lotion to judge my brother as a criminal in the Swedish system based on a claim based on a claim that the police officer is claiming that my brother resisted them even though they're fully aware that he has aggressive autism because he was diagnosed with aggressive autism December 2013 what do you guys think I guess before I go I just wanted to say this if you haven't watched my previous video or you you haven't seen my videos you can watch them on my Facebook page you can watch them on my Facebook page called Real Sweden or you can watch them on my Instagram page, yeah. And guys, bye guys, till my next video.